The goal of the American Heart Association is to improve the outcomes of patients who suffer from cardiac arrest. And over the decades, we have noticed that there is a steady improvement in the way people are resusc successfully resuscitated. But when we actually look at the actual outcomes of what happens to those people that have been resuscitated, meaning that their pulse come back, the actual numbers of people who actually have successfully returned to their level of functioning are still very low. And then we tried to see what were the things that were leading to this. And then that's when we realized that the majority of the patients that were resuscitated after cardiac arrest are in what we call a comatose state. And that's when we know that the patient's injury, even if their heart has come back, is primarily with their brain. When we looked at the actual cause of death, only 10% and less of patients actually are really dying of brain death. But the surprising thing, which is the concerning thing for us, was that the vast majority of people who died, died as a consequence of withdrawal of life support. Because of this, we started looking carefully at uh, what were the things that we could improve in terms of the prediction process. And that's when we realized that the quality of studies out there that describe the process of prediction has very low quality. Many of them are not controlled. Many of them are done still with a lot of confounders from drugs that are given to patients. And many of the studies do not have a standard time whereby the decisions are made. So we want to make sure that the science behind this is improved such that the care that we provide to the patients will be better in terms that we have a better ability from a science perspective to really identify which of those patients will survive and have a good quality of life and which of those patients will not survive and will just suffer for a long, long time.